Hey guys, it's me, Artie. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I wanted to talk to you guys about timers. Oh my god, please bear with me. I know that sounds boring as all f but if your life is an absolute dumpster fire like mine is, then you have ADHD. And I have some things that can help with that on a daily basis. <laughs> Make me so damn easy to me. The three timers I want to show you today are a radial timer. This one gives you a visual cue of how much time you have left. A cube timer. This one has really quick flip over and go timers on it to let you have an alarm in a specified time period. And the third is a timer cap. Timer cap lid. It's basically a timer on the lid of your medication bottle that tells you the last time you took your meds. Hold your applause. I know this is fantastic. My mind was blown when these arrived in the mail and your mind's gonna be blown too. Let's get into the nitty gritty details and some daily uses I have for these in my own ADHD life. The Radial ADHD Certified Timer for cooking stuff in the kitchen and not burning it. While the ADHD Visual Timer won't prevent you from grabbing a 100 degree hot pan out of the oven, it can guarantee that you'll do it on time. To prepare a successful batch of unburnt scones, simply turn your ADHD visual timer to 10 minutes. For a bonus reassurance, flip your timer cube over to 5 minutes to remind you to check your 10 minute timer. In 10 minutes. <laughs> Radial Timer ADHD Certified Use Case Number 2 Make yourself start that damn project. With love, of course. If you find yourself staring at a project or a script for a video or something that desperately needs your time, simply turn that radial timer to the desired amount of time. For my case, 30 minutes. My dumbass now realizes that I'm not gonna be wrapped into this for the next 40 years. Getting tired now though, to me. I, in the beginning, I was like, okay, it's cool, ha. Huh? I can stop in 30 minutes. That timer says, <laughs> Bedtime. Yay, freedom's coming. I don't have to keep doing this forever and hyperfixate on it for the rest of my life if I'm suddenly bored with it. I only have to commit to this for 30 minutes. And usually by the end of that time period, I am so obsessed with whatever I'm doing. For a very long time. Because I've forced myself to dive into it and I don't want to stop anyway. So this is a great way to trick yourself into doing anything. I don't want to ruin it. All right, no, I'm not going to ruin it. No, all right, spoiler alert. For me, it's a way to get me to sit down and write out a script, and I know that I'll usually get it done in an hour anyway, but if I just set the timer for 30 minutes, and at the end of that time period, I'm seriously just staring at a blank page and I can't do anything. I don't force myself to try and be creative, because if I forced myself to create a script or write a script and it just wasn't happening, it's usually in a 30 minute time period where I'm gonna find out whether that's gonna happen or not. And if I made myself do it, it'd just be awful. Speaking of motivation going the opposite direction, if you do find yourself becoming hyper fixated on something for a very long time, I'll just flip over my flip cube timer to 60 minutes. And that lets me know that within 60 minutes, I have to stop, get up, stretch, kick my legs around, do something to Not keep bad. myself moving and in motion. <laughs> And I'll often combine the radial timer with the 15 minute flip timer to give me a kind of idea of how much time I've got left to finish a specific chunk of my project. And last I have the timer caps. Certainly not least, because these are probably my favorite of the three. These legit have a countdown on them that tells you the last time you open the bottle. And because I've opened them within a minute, it has a second timer. It says 55 seconds ago I opened this bottle. No, 28 seconds ago I opened this bottle. And if you're anything like me, you go to pick up your meds and you go, holy crap, I have no idea if I've already taken my meds or not this morning. and you may well have had them 20 minutes ago and you're just having a deja vu moment and you can't remember or you actually did take them and it hasn't kicked in yet or you haven't taken them yet and then you don't take them and then three hours later you're like holy shit i've got absolutely nothing done because i never ended up taking them these will tell you if you open a friggin bottle or not this one here says these are my vitamins two hours and 35 minutes ago i took them so, there's the guesswork taken out of remembering whether you took your meds or not, your um, Adderall or Dexamphetamine or whatever you take. I use them for my um, regular vitamins as well because some of my vitamins are like, maybe you shouldn't have them every day, but every other day. And um, it gives you a way of keeping track of the last time you took them. 
I've failed to actually explain how these work so far. Basically what happens is once you open the lid a button depresses and it restarts the countdown from zero again. So it basically just tells you how long ago you opened the actual lid. Top of the lid is a little area where you can mark it with your dosage and times as well as the stickers that come with it and the child's proof caps so you can add child proof caps onto the bottles if you have kids around or whatever. Lifesaver. Because if you have your meds and you accidentally have them again <laughs> Oh my god. These are like it's like being cooked. You are going to jail because a double dose will just have you cleaning the house from the ceiling to the floor with a toothbrush and that's the worst thing that could come from productivity because if you've got something to do the last thing you need to be doing is zipping around the room like speedy gonzalez all right so that's my video on adhd timers if you found this video useful uh give it a like and, and subscribe um and if you didn't then you get out of here Get out of here. Get out. You get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You get out of here. You got, you got, you got. <laughs> Five minutes to get out of here. I'm gonna go for now. That's a considerable amount of time. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> If you liked this video, you don't have to get out of here, you can stay. But if you did like this, if you didn't like this video, you get out of here. But if you did like this video, you can stay. And subscribe, and hit the bell so that you can get notifications about every time I make more videos like this. Uh, yeah. Link in the description for everything um, that I showed you. All the timers and stuff. Bye. Uh, bye bye. I got all of all at once. I'm gonna make sure we're all facing up. Is this gonna be the thumbnail? Am I gay?